You're probably wondering, what do I have to do in order to get this car modified? What do I have to watch for? I hope to show you everything so you don't have these problems later on the road like I did. First off, let's start with this. And I know you guys have heard this plenty of times. Let's talk about stage zero. These Volvos are very, very particular. You don't do a stage zero on them, you're going to have problems. Isn't this is what I did? The first mod I ever did on this car. I think it was a muffler delete. Oh yeah, I'm getting into cars. I love this car. I'm going to muffler delete it because all my friends are doing it. So I did it. Fell in love with the sound, the five cylinder. Then I started getting more hungry. I want to do this to it, that to it. I got my first cone air intake. You know, like the basic cone ones. I put it on there. I heard the blow off from the turbo. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a tuner now. Let's get into this. It went up from there. But I still have the factory intake pipe system. I don't think I did anything more aggressive than that. That's when I started to have problems. That's when the crankshaft seals, the camshaft seals, all started to leak on me and I was freaking out. The car wasn't running, I was out of oil. Um, plenty of different times here and there that it was really bad. These are reliable motors, don't get me wrong. You just have to take care of them. If you're buying a Volvo, the first thing you have to do is do your stage zero, do your 100,000 mile maintenance. So they recommend this for a reason. As long as you do your stage zero and take care of it, you should be fine for the long haul of what you're gonna do to this car. Okay, so now that you've gotten your stage zero done, basics as spark plugs, 100,000 mile recommended maintenance, everything that's for the car to make it run correctly and make sure you're using Volvo brand stuff for those ignition coils and your spark plugs. Once you're done with that, then you can start modding. You're probably like, what's the first mod I can do? What will actually help and change? Weight reduction. That's the cheapest and easiest thing to do because it's free. Take stuff out, take the back seats out. I took the back seats out of this one time and it felt like a completely different car. Now you're gonna get into finding parts for your car. These cars get really expensive really fast, and there's only a handful of websites that really sell Volvo parts, aftermarket ones, Viva Performance, IPD Volvo or IPD USA, there's Eurosport Tuning, there's Elevate Volvo or Elevate Cars. There's plenty of different places that will offer you aftermarket Volvo parts. So you wanna go bigger and better. You don't wanna just weight reduction and a filter. You wanna start doing mods to it and changing everything. These are very particular cars, so do your stuff right. Tell your friends and family, please, 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 subscribe to your boys. We see a lot of people viewing these nobody subscribing please take the time two seconds out your day help support us so we can keep this channel going bigger make it better we always looking for new projects you guys got any ideas put some stuff in the comments we're, we're ready we're game it's a new year and we, we're trying to take it to that next level you're on big boy mods now now you want to do a stage one at this point you're going to want to make sure that you have the supporting mods for stage one. So it's usually an intake, a front mount intercooler, all the little supporting mods for that stage one to get you a little bit more power that you want. Now we're on stage two and Hilton Tuning offers two different stages. You have stage two and then you have stage two plus. Stage two, you have intake, front mount intercooler from the 2000 to 2010 Volvos. They all almost have the same engine. You can take the R injectors and slap them in here. You're gonna be on stage two and you're gonna be making a substantially more power. The maps are gonna be greater, better than stock or stage one. You're gonna have more fuel coming in, more air, and you're gonna have more spark as well. All this changes when you go to stage two. Stage two plus is where you want more power. I'm not satisfied, I want something more. So you, you get that stage two plus, and then you're kinda of at a bottleneck. Or what do I do at this point? Well, he offers a stage three. I've gone with Hilton, so I'm talking about his. That's when you get into really big boy mods and you do bigger turbos. You can even do a methanol injection, fuel pump kit, anything that you would like to actually make everything much better. And you can get to stage four where you do ARP heads, piston rings, all that for stage four, a built motor from the bottom to the top. But that gets very expensive. I haven't even done that. You wanna get to stage three, you can look for different size Volvo turbos. And they're actually Mitsubishi turbos, but Volvo took them, rearranged the housing and slapped them on their cars and called them theirs. After knowing that I wanted more and I wanted more to go into this car. I got an 18T turbo and slapped it in here. At this point, you have bigger turbo, bigger injectors. You have front mounted intercooler, a cold air intake. You have a three inch straight pipe like me, like crazy, I'm crazy. If you can save yourself and help yourself, put a resonator in there. It might help you for those lower stages as well. I should have mentioned that before. Just know you start modifying this car and doing big boy stuff to it, it's going to blow up. Stuff's gonna break, stuff's gonna wear out. So if you didn't do your stage one, now you're shit out of luck because shit's gonna start hitting the fan. I I've gone bigger almost everything. And there's still stuff in the future for this. There's supposed to be transmission cooler coming. There's supposed to be an oil catch can. I don't even have that yet. We'll get into that. That's a different video. If you want more Volvo content and see more cars, anything cars, Volvos, muscle cars, supercars, subscribe and you'll see plenty of it. But that's all for this video. I hope I gave you some information. I could have been probably a little bit more scripted with everything, but I tried to cover three different stages, even 
close to four stages of tuning for this car, what you can do on these, so you guys can have a better understanding of what to expect.